Psalm 1611 says, In your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. So we can know from the word of God that the true meaning of life, the true joy of life, the true uh, having a cup running over experience in life is in God's presence. And there is nothing else that will take that place. In God's presence, there is fullness of joy. And that's what it says. It doesn't say having a companion is fullness of joy or anything else in life is fullness of joy. It says in his presence is fullness of joy. And that on its own is true. But of course, we are human and we have human needs. It doesn't matter how much we try and ignore them, they are there. Our bodies need food. So if we don't feed our bodies, we obviously we get hungry, we get weak, we, we can't concentrate, we can't enjoy life properly because we're focused on hunger, uh, the weakness that comes with hunger if you're hungry for a long time. And we're not able then to fully enjoy the fullness of joy in God's presence. We are distracted, we are hindered in some degree because our bodily functions are not met. Uh, basic survival. It's not to say that during those times of hunger, for example, the Lord's presence would fill us. But generally speaking, it's a trouble and a trial. And also concerning the need of a spouse. We cannot ignore the fact, we cannot hide away from the fact that whilst in God's presence is fullness of joy and overflowing love, our human needs are for companionship, a spouse. We have emotional needs that, that can be met through a companion, sexual needs, psychological needs. And most of all, this was all endorsed by the Lord in creation. <clears throat> when he said it's not good for a man or for women, obviously, it means as well, man or woman to be alone. They need companionship. They need somebody to share life with, to interact with. And this, again, without this in our lives, we can still know the fullness of the Lord and his overflow, overflowing presence. But there is that distraction, that distraction, that need in our lives of a spouse to share life with. And I experienced that as, as a single believer waiting for many years, for 26 years, for the Lord to lead me to the right one. Whilst many times I would have the Lord's fullness, there would be many times too when the human need of companionship would distract me from the joy of the Lord and hinder me at times. So what am I getting at here? I'm getting at this... The very important fact is that at the end of the day, <clears throat> fullness of joy <clears throat> is in God's presence. And at the right hand of God are those pleasures forevermore, those extra blessings. And the blessing of companionship, the blessing of um, earthly needs being met, for example, food. And finance to be able to look after ourselves. They're the blessings at the right hand of God. But the most important one for us to be focused on is the presence of the Lord. The true fullness of joy, overflowing joy, that's heavenly and not of this earth. So in your wait or in your search to find <clears throat> the right person to share your life with, always remember that when you do have that special person in your life, that's not going to be the fullness of joy, okay? That's going to be a pleasure, a wonderful blessing at the right hand of God. Always make sure that you focus your heart and your mind mainly, mostly, on the Lord Jesus and seek your emotional well-being and physical well-being, spiritual well-being from him and the companion that the Lord will graciously allow you to have will be an extra blessing in your life, which is needful as well, to help you through this journey on earth.